there's very few great places left. And the really great ones that have been discovered, well, enough people thought they were great that enough of them moved there that they're not so great anymore. <laughs> so, um, when, when, you, when something gets discovered and enough people move in that it changes what it is, you know, I, if, if that happened here, if this became a Jackson Hole or a Sun Valley or a Sun River, um, I don't know where I'd go because <laughs> I really enjoy living here. It's an agricultural based economy that has increasingly seen changes in land use over time. And uh, folks have, have really been concerned about that, particularly how it's been impacting farmland and ranch land. Woody Wolf's property is part of a century farm. 466 acres is how much this conservation easement encompasses. And we have spent many years working with him on this project. It certainly wasn't simple, but it was ideal from our perspective and hopefully from Woody's as well, because not only is it um, prime farm ground in the Wallawa Valley, it also provides incredible habitat for fisheries and wildlife. So the easement is in perpetuity and you know, my sons are seventh generation, so you know, nothing lasts forever, but the goal is to take care of it and make it last as long as it can. The goal is sustainable, a sustainable business, and to not put yourself in a situation where you've mined your capital out of the environment and then 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the road, it's not there anymore. From our perspective, Woody is an ideal landowner. Ultimately, he's a businessman and he he looks at things in the big picture and in the long term. He is a sixth generation uh, farmer here and he would like to be able to pass his farm on to his children. And we are very proud to have been able to, to be a part of helping him plan for the future. Now the land is protected forever, whether my kids end up with it or their kids or somebody that I don't know ends up with this, these values are going to stay attached to the property within the written document. Uh, easement on a piece of ground that doesn't need to make money is one thing, but on a functioning farm and ranch, it's, uh, it's very difficult to address all of the dynamics in a document and set it up so that it's rigid, so that the people funding it can retain what they're paying for. But I have the flexibility to run a business in a document that is in perpetuity. It really is that sense of knowing that they're leaving a legacy, not just for their children, but also for their community.